Anyway, yeah, you can see how the moth scales are arranged like uh, shingles on a roof. However, they don't appear really like shingles to the eyes so much as they do leaves. They're fascinating. I always like doing this. Let me tone down the light level. I for how did I forget I could do that? Um, <laughs> there you go. That's a little bit easier on the eyes, huh? You can see where the wing was cut by my exacto knife. Very, very um, professional tool there for microscope work, right? You can see how uh, where the wing was cut, the scales are sticking out over the edge, and they're long and almost floral in design. They're quite beautiful, actually, aren't they? Neat. This here you're looking at, no, at least a couple hundred power, relatively speaking. Don't have much time, so let's move along. Next objective up. And bear in mind, like I said, the eyepiece is not part of this. This is being projected directly from the optical tube of the microscope without the eyepiece directly onto the uh, imager sensor, CMOS in this one, can't remember, it's a, I think it's a CMOS sensor in these cameras, the Quick Cam Pro 9000s, um, directly onto the sensor anyway, with no uh, lens on the webcam either, it's just straight through, objective lens, straight to the CCD. You can see some considerable level of detail now in the scales. They appear to be ridged. And look at the edges, too. Notice how they're kind of scalloped? That is not damaged the scales. They grow this way on the wing, on the wing of the moth. What purpose that serves, I don't know, but I'm sure there is some purpose there somewhere. God is in the details, as they say, and... Once you get familiar with microscopes, you realize that the details run very, very deep indeed. And things that appear like they were done by an artist, they have their uses. Very important purposes. These scales are here to protect the wing from damage, without which the moth's life would be painfully short, I'm sure. And I do mean painfully. They need flight to survive. It is an intimate part of their lives. Look at that forest of scales. Amazing, huh? Really is. Okay, I'm running out of time here, so let's get hauling. I have some scales off on uh, part of the slide, and I want to show you them at very high power. Let's back out there. Going the right way here. There are some scales. Yeah, this is where I want to be, right here. Okay. Let's adjust the condenser a bit. You notice how that how dramatically that affects the appearance of the image. I'm messing with the condenser lens only. And bring that up. The colors get warmer as I lower the condenser lens away from the slide. And details get much higher contrast. This is why having an adjustable condenser is so important. And stepping up. Let's bring that back in focus. And now that I've increased the magnification, I can put the condenser back up closer to the lens to get better light, and I don't suffer as much of a contrast loss as with the lower power objective. See there? Aren't they neat? I mean, they're really, they're amazing. Look at that, that's one of your edge wing scales, like you saw. Attach the wing, but of course now, 
it's off on its own. Let's see if I can get that at extreme power. Yeah, I've lost it. <laughs> That's always a problem, isn't it? I think I'm actually brushing the, uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, sorry about that. I think I was actually brushing the slide a bit. That one's badly damaged. Oh, Desi, get a hold of yourself. I don't have time to babysit you at the moment. And no, you can't get on my lap. Jeez. Cat. Notice how stop biting my arm does. I'm not... <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the narrative in the background here. Okay, here's a nice non-lobe scale. Check out the intricate details now that you can see. They're ridged, but I think maybe what you're looking at there isn't really ridges per se. I think it's cellular uh, structure. It would be my first guess. Here's a nice look at the lobe of one of the more flowery looking ones. You can see the stem, for lack of a better way to put it, that uh, connects the scale to the wing. Soften that up a little. Fooling again with the... Uh, notice how you lose contrast so quickly doing that. Um, and also the uh, iris here. See how much more contrast I can give it if I like. Bring up the light power. And now details scan out very sharply. There we are. I may have to break this up into two videos because I think I'm going to run out of time. Oh yeah, I've already killed ten minutes on this alone. There we are. Look how beautiful that is. It's amazing, isn't it? The world under the microscope is just so fascinating. I mean, there are levels of detail you and your life without the microscope you would never know any of this is here that dust on the moth's wing that gets on your fingers when you touch it or butterfly's wing you would have to speculate on what exactly it is you would have no basis of knowing anything about what it really is and what it what it does you just have to assume it's fairy dust or something right <laughs> Fascinating, really. Really is. So there you go. I think I'll cut you off here. Because it's just more of the same at that point. There's a smaller scale. They have all shapes and sizes. They have many variations in design. And that actually depends where they're located on the wing and what unique attribute they can contribute to the integrity of the wing over time and in differing uh, weather conditions and the like. You can see how those lobes, they're not tears. They're very sculpted... Uh, structures meant to be there to serve a purpose okay kids i hope you enjoyed this little demo and uh see you next time who knows what i'll have lined up for you next time i'd like to do uh the eye of um one of these moths but i'm not sure that the specimen i got has intact uh eyes i think it was pretty badly damaged in the head he was pretty beat up when I found him. Anyway, like I say, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see what I can bring around next time. <laughs> Take care. Hope everybody's having a good day, good week. Merry used to be Christmas, and uh, all that. And see you next time. Take care.